Hello lads, welcome back to the Wednesday Q&A. Today I will only answer one question, but the question is a rather important one because I think a lot of guys are in this particular situation. So let's jump to the question at hand. Hey Marcus, I don't know if you read your Patreon messages, but I'm gonna write anyway. The Patreon messages are the only messages I regularly check because obviously if I have almost 80,000 subscribers and about 160 are contributing to the channel, they are definitely the priority. So I definitely do and thank you for your support. Moving on with the question. So my girlfriend is moving to the new world to work for 13 months while I'm going to stay in the old world. I've omitted the countries so I don't dox the gallant young man at hand. Because I set myself a goal which is to serve in an SOF unit. But we have not been together for long and I can't help but feel some resentment towards myself for not making a move earlier. Maybe the situation would have turned out differently. On top of that, I am depressed due to her leaving and find it extremely hard to give 100% of myself in the gym or in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so I can't even blow off steam and not think about this predicament as I'd like to. What advice would you give to a young guy like me in this situation? I really appreciate all that you do, your content has helped me before during some rough times. Thanks. Ah, we have a classic young man with heart issues. First and foremost, if this video reaches 10,000 viewers, maybe a thousand of those lads will have been in this situation and maybe a hundred guys are in this particular situation at the moment. So first and foremost, you're absolutely not alone in this predicament. Now, this might sound quite cliche, but this is just part of life. Uh, you will run into these sort of issues sooner or later, and uh, if you run into them now, just um, write it out. It is okay to feel down, it is okay to feel a bit depressed, or not depressed, but uh, yeah, a bit down. What is not okay, however, is to slacken when it comes to your training, because that will only make things worse. So view this as an opportunity to, even though it perhaps doesn't feel the best to be bereft of uh, thy fair maiden, you can still focus a lot. This is the time for you to focus 100% on your training or to, you know, be in the army because it's better to be, if you're gonna be one year in the army, it is definitely better to do that without a girlfriend because then you can focus fully and then you don't have to spend your entire year missing her. So it's better that you get over that heartache now, you can train, then go into the military, do that for a year, and then when you come out, you can start looking again for some sort of fair maiden. But uh, yet again, it might sound cliche to just uh, push through, but that is the way to go about this. There is no single mind trick you can utilize to make it go away. You just have to deal with the fact that life throws these sort of things at you every once in a while you have to deal with it and you have to accept that you don't always have to feel great with yourself it's absolutely fine to not feel great with yourself it's uh, just it comes and goes and then you will have some up times and then you will have some down times it's uh, it is what it is so basically the advice i would give is to continue train as hard as possible even if you can't go 100% because you don't feel motivated, you can at least go 80% or 90%, then you have done something at least. Going 100% in the gym or in martial arts, for example, that's a rare luxury that you can't afford to rely upon. So uh, you have certain times, certain periods over the year where you can focus 100%. Then it comes times when, for whatever reason, it can be mental or physical for you it's a it's a heartache for some other guy it might be he has injured himself so he can't go 100 percent. but if you go 80 percent, and then when the opportunity arises you can go 100 percent again and when you look back upon this time in in six months or even a year then you might view it in the following way either you can have two injuries 
The first one being the heartache and the second one being that you missed out on training. Or you can say that it was only one injury and one positive thing. And the positive thing was that you at least kept pushing in regards to the training. And then you will be in a much better position to set the pace even higher when you feel 100%. So if you view it in that sort of way, it perhaps will be a bit easier to motivate yourself to hit the temple and the temple of Ares. Now another note on the fair maiden question is that you should never put the fair maidens first. Put your own quest first and then the fair maidens will come as a result of it. So if you at this moment in time place your heartache at the center of things you are taking things in um, in a faulty priority so to speak so your quest is the important thing and then you can focus on um, on fair maidens and the heart etc so i hope that at least gives you some uh, motivation for the coming time and some relief but yet again point is that it's okay to not always feel great Sometimes you feel down and that's that's acceptable. That's okay. But it's also about how you deal with these situations. So if you crack under that pressure, that's obviously not a good thing. But if you feel down, but you still go about your business, you try to, to make some gains on, um, on your particular quest, then that's absolutely fine. Uh, not much more you can do about it. So some stoicism in uh, this particular moment in time for you. And that will serve you well in the army too. So I hope that helps.